hi hello my dear students very very good evening from sundar rabindranathan hope all you guys are doing super awesome so is everyone able to see me and hear me very clearly can you please type yes if you guys are able to see me and hear me very clearly is that a yes awesome awesome raytheon thank you thank you so much Okay, Chinmay, please refresh your page. Uh, I think it should get sorted out, right? Okay, so welcome to this wonderful session. You know, uh, a, a quick kind of a workshop where I'm going to share with you certain uh, guidelines, tips, tricks with which you can make your learning more effective. Yeah, excellent. So now let us move on. As usual, for those of you who don't know me, I will start with a very crisp introduction of mine. My name is Sundar Rabindranathan, as you can see here, and uh, I work as a master teacher at Vedantu, and I am a learning strategist. Okay, so learning strategist is there are multiple ways of learning stuff. So I research and re I really work deeper on that. Okay, so yes, this is a little about me. I am in this industry for almost 22 years. This is the 23rd year. So. Welcome all of you again. I, you know, I, I am again, you know, privileged to take this session for all of you, having dealt with more than twenty-five thousand teachers and forty thousand students across India. Right, guys. That's it about me. I would share my mobile number, Anurag. Don't worry. Uh, Anurag is asking my mobile number. I'll put it at the end of the session. I'll write it here, so you can note uh, down. I will also give my WhatsApp number. We can be in touch. All right. Thank you. Let's move on. Hi Sakshi, <clears throat> guys, can you type in? I really, I'm really eager to find out which grades you guys belong to. Can you type which grade you belong to? Seven. Okay, nine. Ten. Nine. Quicker, guys! Faster, faster. Nine, seven, seven, eight. Okay, Nalin, I got that. Twelfth. Okay. Ten. Thank you so much, my dear students. I think I have, I have a fair feel. What I understood is it's a mix. I don't have many people, many students belonging to a certain grade alone. It seems to be a mix. I will also give you more generic stuff, of course, which is very, very useful and effective. You will find some of them really magical. Okay, right. Now, <clears throat> let us move on. Have you guys already attended my workshops? Quickly, quickly, guys. I would really, you know, I'm, I'm eager to move forward on this faster. So quick response is appreciated. Okay, no, 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 okay. All right, Chinmay has attended. Welcome. No, okay. Fair guys, I got it. Thank you so much. Let us move on. Now, what can you expect from this session? So typically, you know, what I would be covering is there are certain guidelines. It's kind of a formula. If you properly follow that on a very sequential basis, you will find that your chances of really making learning or becoming a better learning and learner who really enjoys learning will be very high. Okay, so you would become a more effective, more powerful learner with time. And that I'm going to give you. So typically, I will tell you becoming a better learner. What is the secret formula that will be revealed in this particular workshop, right? Okay. <clears throat> Now, my dear students, there are four stages in learning. Before I show that, I wanted to take you through a quick, uh, you know, a, a story kind of a thing. See, assume that, uh, you know, uh, right, suddenly, how if you do not know to ride a car, right, you do not know to ride a car generally because we never had a need for it in general. Okay, and suddenly if your dad or mom or whoever purchases a car, we start thinking that we need to 
learn to drive it correct so once you learn to drive it what happens is slowly initially when you are driving you are very very conscious of how you are driving but once you become very very you know comfortable and thorough you will find that you don't realize that you are driving just you know they you operate on the gear you operate on the clutch you operate on the brake and accelerator comfortably correct this is how learning also works there are four stages to mastery in learning anything listen very carefully so what are those four stages is what i am taking you through first there is no need for you so if you don't know something and you don't even have a need you don't realize that i need to learn it that is the first stage and that stage is called unconscious incompetence okay the second stage is there is some reason suddenly your teacher wants start is starting something and you understand okay i need to know this okay so the need for knowing something comes here in the second stage which we call as conscious incompetence consciously i know that i don't know i know that i am incompetent so you know that you don't know that's the second step in learning the third step the third step is you have learned a teacher has taken it you have, have you have a kind of a picture of it right that is you have learned it but you have not mastered that is the third step is conscious competence last one is you know that concept what is taught so well that irrespective of what is it even in your sleep if i wake you up you would be able to tell that just like that that is pure mastery correct are you getting my dear students what i am saying these are the four stages in learning if you are learning any concept first there is no need you didn't realize it there is no need second the concept is introduced to you by a book by a teacher or any source then you start understanding because your teacher is teaching you start understanding and last you start using specific strategies and memory techniques to register in your memory that's mastery in this place you master that learning okay now my dear students what i am going to tell you is for all these stages especially for leave the first stage the remaining three stages what are the approach approaches you have to follow when it comes to learning vignesh don't worry or uh, do not complicate it it's very simple when to master learning what are the three different approaches you need to have i'm going to speak about it okay so first when a concept is being introduced ensure that you learn the concept through applications or analogies that is first time you are being introduced the concept of algebra okay if someone is introducing the concept of algebra first start with the concept when you are revising it start with its application okay then use different learning strategies to understand algebra really well the last one is apply different memory techniques to ensure that you master what is being taught to you so my dear students very simple i am going to give you techniques for what are the different strategies what are the different memory techniques in this workshop are you clear so now going forward i will be dealing with different strategies and different memory techniques yeah okay now so when it comes to learning there are two pieces of it right two stages of it something is taught to you at school and something is taught whatever that is taught at school you start studying at home or through a book so learning at school and learning outside school now quickly my dear students tip number 1 very very important okay tip number 1 research has proved that it is your morning routine from the time you wake up till you go to school your morning routine is there right it is your morning routine which will decide your happiness and success at school are you understanding what i am saying i want you to recollect how you spend your morning till the time you go to school right 
it has a lot of impact on the way you study at school yeah uh, chinmay you don't need to study in the morning from the time you get up whatever things that you do all right small doses of happiness small small things until the time you get to school or you entering the school with a happy mood all right morning routine is not about studying in the morning my dear students you can study even in the evenings but morning routine is how you spend the time from the time you wake up till you go to school are you getting me right so the point number 1 please ensure you take care of your morning routine this is the first step now number 2 you are at school please ensure before you leave school ensure your learning is complete please ensure your learning is complete i'm going to deal with a lot of tools before that i am taking you through certain basic aspects which you need to watch out which you need to take care very carefully so on any given day on any given day please ensure your learning all right before you leave the school you should not have any doubts in mind whatever that is taught in that day vignesh is asking a question vignesh is saying what all things are included in the morning routine sir simple vignesh are you going to school in a hurry hurry without time you know in a rush is it how you enter your school or you know how you are driving you have control of your time you know how things go in a structured way all right this is what i call as morning routine are you clear yeah it's more happily than peacefully right so now never leave a doubt at school that's the problem tectonic the problem is you just don't get time you just don't get time so either get up a little early or plan your day in whatever way you can because it differs with person to person you need to plan the way you are doing it okay now three in your school on any given day you will have eight to nine periods eight to nine sessions taken by teachers depending on the school right please ensure for every session as you learn from the teacher by the end of the session create some summary cards small summary cards where you can note down what what did the teacher teach what did you understand through few keywords just one one keyword this is like a cue card which will have few keywords alone what was taught so for every session you should have one summary card so if there are eight periods leave the pt whatever stuff even if there are six to seven periods please ensure you have six to seven summary cards for every day kamal kishore that is the real trick right that's what makes it you know the, the difference between a great learner and an average so you need to pick it up vignesh you can you can you can write it in notebook in case you don't have summary cards you can do it in notebook but it's a must that every day for every session you need to have summaries is it really really important tectonic all to, most most of the time stoppers do these things behind the scene we will not realize it at a suddenly when they get great marks we will wonder how come that guy is getting good marks right now there are times there are times for different reasons you might not have enough time to get all your doubts cleared you have some doubt teacher is not having time something has happened if there are some doubts which are unanswered please write them separately on something called as a doubt sheet put date one one sheet for a day please write the doubt which is unanswered at any cost try and get it solved on that by the end of that day either by revision looking at referring to something whatever you want to but at the end it's very essential yeah tectonic if teacher has not explained again of course it's your you know it's there Uh, I would say it's your right to ask them to explain it. In case it doesn't happen for some reason, you can you have to do what it takes to take help from an external source. It could be a book, it could be internet, whatever. 
ensure all doubts on any given day is solved. Okay. Mevan sir, nowadays things have improved a lot. I do not know about specific schools. There are differences with every school. But generally, the way you ask, teachers don't scold. Should not scold, ideally. Okay. But in case you find that very, very thing, take ref help from other sources. This is the reason many a time students join a tuition. Okay. Right. Okay, my dear students, I am giving you. See, today there are very interesting exercises. You will know what kind of a learner you are. That, you know, that exercise is there. So, be on your toes. It's all are coming now. Ready? Don't, don't, uh, you know, worry like this. Tectonic, don't worry like this. Okay, my dear students, there is a scenario. The scenario is, watch out carefully. There are two students. Okay? So, there is something which is taught. Something very theoretical, very abstract, something a little complicated to understand is being taught at the, in the class. Student A listens, you know, in a very relaxed way. He is very, very relaxed, kind of a bit of a casual, just, you know, watching out. Student B listens to the teacher in a very intense, so tense, intense and focused way. Okay. Now tell me this. Who do you think? Which student would have learned that concept really well? Student A or student B? <clears throat> okay. Mimansa is saying B. Vignesh is saying A. Thalabatula is saying. Vedavyas is saying A. Okay. B. Mix. Alright. My dear students. You know what? Student, it is student B. Researchers prove it is student B who study really, uh, student A who study really well. I'm sorry. Student A, you know why? Learning happens beautifully when your mind is very relaxed. The more relaxed is your mind, the more open it is. Quickly you can pour things into it. Okay, so the answer is A. Would you believe it? If you are more relaxed, your learning happens faster. Yeah, Raytheon is asking, really? Yes. I'll give you examples. Take Eureka. When did, how did Eureka happen when that guy was taking a bath? <coughs> uh, Newton's law of gravity. When he was relaxing under a tree. Okay, three. Uh, Thomas Alva Edison. Most of his discoveries or in inventions, in other words, they came when he is relaxing in his chair, easy chair. Okay. It is clearly proven that the more the brain is relaxed, the more faster is your learning. That is why again I say your morning routine is very important. The more you, the relaxed you get into school, the more happier and the faster things get inside your brain. You might say, is this so important? Trust me, it is very, very, very important, my dear students. Okay, I am speaking out of experience because I've been doing this for 23 years. I've been doing deeper researches, uh, dealing with thousands and thousands of students as well as teachers. Okay. Yeah, Vaishnavi, we'll speak about it separately because the agenda is a bit different. Okay. Yes, Shivakumar. Right, moving on. Now, from school, you know what all needs to be done. Those three points I have highlighted. Now, moving on. At home, what should I do? First, before you start anything, ensure you play a game, not with your gadget. Play a physical game. Okay. If you don't have, just go for a walk and come back. No problem. But it is must that you need to ensure you relax physically before you start your daily revision. Your daily revision should happen only after you, you kind of you do an activity or relaxation physically. Yeah. Vignesh, chess is also fine. Great. But I would prefer something which also involves a bit of physical activity. Okay. Cool. Hey, Tectonic, no PUBG. <laughs> No gadgets. 
all right so once you have played a game you have come back you have sitting you are all ready now with your summary cards take your summary cards do a mental debrief and start recollecting what was taught in those classes using the summary cards badminton is perfect football is perfect coming back so once you come back after the game do a mental debrief using the summary card mentally don't write anything do a mental debrief this is what happened right yes 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 okay vaishnavi when you do it every day you will not hide this will not happen when you do it rarely you don't want to come back after the game okay after this mental debriefing mental debriefing is mentally recollecting what happened look at the summary card and find out what all the teacher taught in that session now after that use the following tools use the following tools to represent whatever you have learned in the paper okay so now you have to use multiple intelligences you need to use tools which have which involve multiple intelligences to learn okay someone is saying what are the example i am going to give you tons of examples now before that my dear students till this i have given you guidelines what all things will make you successful now what i am going to tell you is are you ready it is very essential that you find out what is your learning style yeah are you ready to find out what kind of a learner you are because based on that you can use relevant tools here yeah if you know what kind of a learner you are you can use appropriate tools which i will prescribe to you now ready all of you sudanshu is saying yeah others raytheon is yes and what else how about others nizi of course awesome guys let us see take a paper and be ready paper and a pen and be ready tell me done when you are done take a paper and a pen and be ready vaishnavi we will do a small analysis than a game okay mimansa is ready vedavya is done lalita done sudanshu is done nizi is done cool guys now here we go i'm going to show you an exercise i want you to fill it up the way i am telling you don't hurry you see a few tasks here okay depending on what you do i want you to fill it up if you are doing this very rarely very rarely put one here one if you do it sometimes put three here if you do this very often put five here seldom is one sometimes is 3 often is 5 are you understanding what i am saying my dear students before you do it there is a task which will say what speak about a nature if you do this very often put 5 sometimes means 3 and seldom means 1 okay are you clear guys this is a very important and very effective activity to understand your learning style so do it carefully let me hide from the screen <coughs> quickly guys once you are done i will move to okay hima is asking again hima say for example i can remember best by listening to a lecture that includes in information explanation discussion if you are a person who can always remember a lecture just by listening put off on five sometimes you can you know quickly remember it you can by listening put it very rarely i can re remember just by you know audio put one there clear so what i want you to do is question number 1 put the marks question number 1 is either 3 1 3 or 5 then go question number 2 1 3 or 5 question number 3 1 3 or 5 just keep writing like that quickly guys quickly 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 for every question put whether it is this this or this any one
so if you are done with 12 questions i will show you the next page type done when you are done with all the 12 questions the sheet that you have should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 questions and relevant mark for that. Score. <clears throat> Don't think too much when you answer this. Whatever you feel you are, just write it. Sudan, Shu, Nisi, don't type there guys, it's not required, just write in your paper, that's fine. Vedavyas, write in the sheet of paper, pa, whatever you have, you don't need to write it here, okay? Once you are done, my dear students, type done. I'm waiting. Good, Vedavyas is done. Nizi, it is not over. Don't worry. It's only 12 questions I have shown. Is everyone done? Anyone who is doing it still? No, no, no. Often is 5, Nizi. Often is 5. Okay, I think most of you guys are done. Nizi, are you done? Shall I go on? Okay. Right, guys. Next page. Quickly, 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 same, same, five, three, one, five, three, one. Come on, come on, come on guys, pick it up. Veda Vyas says done. Come on guys, come on. Few things which are very detailed, read them carefully and then write. Don't hurry up. Just because I am pushing. Vedavyas, it's not like that. Pa. It's not like that. It's more of an exercise. So you don't need to think whether, don't think too much and too far. No issues. Don't do that. For every question, 1 to 24, okay, you are putting your marks, whether it is often, seldom or, uh, you know, uh, sometimes. Often is 5, sometimes is 3 and seldom is 1. What is the difficulty in that? Guys, are you done? Couple of them are done. How about others? What happened with the Vyas? Alright, awesome guys. Done, right? Okay. Let me move on. How to do the scoring to understand? My dear students, now, for these questions, add all your marks. For these questions, add your marks. For these question numbers, add your marks. I repeat, for these question numbers, whatever are your marks, add it and put it here. Put it at the bottom. For these question numbers, add them and put it in the bottom. And these question numbers again, these are the question numbers. I know we are taking a bit of time, 5 to 10 minutes, but it's truly worth it, guys, because I did it before I started. I'm giving it to you now. Good job, Vedavyas. Awesome speed. Awesome. 
Sudanshu, it's very simple for 1 to 24. I hope you have done mark your score, right? You got it? So, in those question numbers, for those, these, question number 2, what was your score? Question number 3, what was your score? Add all these scores. Are you guys done? Okay, my dear students, now when you add, you get a score, right? That's your visual score, visual learning score. This is your auditory learning. Hearing and learning is auditory learning. This is your auditory learning score. And tactile, okay, tactile is more, it's called kinesthetic. Touch, feel and learn, right? Okay, that is called tactile learning. You learn through touch, feel. Okay, you learn through your senses more. So that is this. Now this, you can always use calculator. Don't worry, this is not an examination. This will help you understand which is your dominant style. You will find some, you will get some, you will be getting some marks here, here and here. But one will be very high. That is your dominant style. That is your dominant and actual learning style. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You are a visual and auditory, Vignesh. You are a visual and an auditory. Okay, so I will tell you how. I will debrief the next slide. How about others? Everyone is done? Now you will know are you, if you are a visual learner, are you an auditory learner, or are you a tactile learner? Nisi, no problem. Let me know. Hima is clearly a visual learner. Okay, Veda Vyas, clearly a visual and auditory guy. It's not a must that you need to be only one, no problem. Okay, shall I move on? Now my dear students, if you are a visual learner, what are the tools you should use? Okay, if you are a visual learner, when you revise, please revise more with charts, maps, fill strips, notes, videos. Because they are, they create a visual registration of anything that you study. And practice writing everything. Because when you write, it visually gets stored in your mind. It gets impacting, it starts impacting your photographic memory. If you are an auditory learner, you know what, I, whenever I am an auditory learner, generally I, I join hands with my friend, okay. And I teach him, ask him to check how I am teaching, ask him to teach that to me. This is how we pair and share. I use a strategy called pair and share. I join hands with my friend and we both study together. So that he teaches me he, whatever he is revising. I hear it and learn it again. So you can use techniques like this. Use tapes, okay, or join hands with a friend. If you are an auditory learner, if you are a tactile learner, tactile is create cards, create flashcards, create different kind of physical stuff because you are more of a touch and feel learner. Are you clear my dear students? Okay, what I am doing is, I am going towards one end, I want you to take a print screen if you want. Please take a print screen, save it. Are you done? Hey Tectonic, come on here, make it fast. Quick, quick, quick. Hope you guys are done now. Awesome. Alright. So now all of you know what kind of a learner you are, correct? So if you are this kind of a learner, how can you study? How can you learn better? is what this slide exercise is all about. It's a precious exercise which I have taken you through. All right. Uh, yeah, now it's easy, right? Veda Vyas? Simple. It will be effective, guys. Start following it. Okay. Sudhanshu, even in your laptop, you will have a print screen button, right? Do not worry. Just ping me on WhatsApp. I'll tell you. Okay, my dear students. Now, what are the other tools? If you are a tactile learner, you can use, create something called summary sheets. Anything that you learn, 
create summary sheets in that evening when you sit and revise me evening morning whatever time it is summary sheets are one uh, how to create that how to go in detail i will teach separately guys i am not spending more time on this part but summary sheets are a great way to debrief from the summary cards okay awesome awesome way the vyas now apart from summary sheets there are something called knowledge map what is a knowledge map my dear students excellent vignesh excellent if you have already attended normally i use these tools give them more and more a few effective ones again and again so it's okay what are knowledge maps concept map mind map uh, a bit different knowledge maps are qualitatively uh, structured information present uh, in in a totally different form say for example look at it this is a map of chemistry it has all aspects of chemistry it has all aspect of chemistry mind maps generally you will find less images inside mind maps you will have colors and written but not really in knowledge map knowledge map you can put images you are free to use there are no not many restrictions entire map of chemistry if i am able to package the entire chemistry in one image imagine can't you do it for a chapter or a topic don't you think you will make you a better learner of that topic or a chapter easily guys easily okay that is why i wanted to show this knowledge map to make you understand you can create even a mini version of knowledge maps even for chapter level topic sometimes even at sub topic levels all right see here let me show it for other subjects physics this is a knowledge map for quantum physics classical physics relativity see how well it is covered i will show you one hand written knowledge map see here this is a knowledge map for entire mathematics it has every single aspect of mathematics the reason why i am showing is i of course in one stretch you can't understand what i am saying but you should start believing that you can create similar stuff with uh, well written well structured uh, notes and images for topics and vignesh that is why i am saying created at a topic level created at a sub topic level and at a chapter level chapter level will work wonders okay shivakumar if you have, if you have a summary card you have to expand that summary card in some form correct i am saying expand it this way vedavya ask me if i have time i will respond otherwise ping me on whatsapp okay right formula cards what are formula cards you can create formula cards this is a formula card for geometry which i normally show to my students similarly you can create formula cards for multiple stuff even in chemistry when you are solving a problem look at the formula card which formula comes there if you are a visual learner this works wonders yeah <laughs> sunil It, it takes time all right that is the reason whether we ask you can use it for any subject theme cards are there theme cards you can use for social studies english multiple subjects okay use memory techniques my dear students till now i showed you four stages in learning till now we have come till understanding the third approach all right now we are moving towards mastery which is using memory techniques memory techniques will get create visual registration proper registration in your memory hey pritham okay now let's see a few memory techniques to make you a better learner okay let's see if these are really interesting and effective okay my dear students do a quick activity people who have attended my uh, sessions they know what it is Can you quickly master the positions of alphabets between one to ten? One to ten, quickly. 
1 is A, 2 is B, 3 is C, like that, till 10 you should be thorough with the position. The moment I say 7, you should say G. 9, I. 6, F. Vedavyas is done, Renjana is done, how about others? How about others guys? Done? Done? Awesome guys. Now, let, let, I'll give you a simple technique to remember dates. Let's take a date. Uh, if you want to remember Independence Day, 15 August 1947, Independence Day. I need to remember 15847. What is 1? According to the task, 1 is A. 5 alphabet is E. 8th alphabet is H. 4th alphabet is D. 7th alphabet is G. So, you need to remember A, E, H, D, G. Correct? To remember this number, the date. Now, it is nothing but anti, Independence Day is anti-English historic day for Indian government. Right? Day for government. Look at it. A, E, H, D, G. Anti-English Historic Day for Government. Correct? Yes, Vedavyas. That's exactly what I've written. Just one step. What did you guys do? 15847. You just memorized the positions of alphabets 1 to 10. Now see what all you are able to do with just one simple step. This is a simple memory technique to remember dates. Yeah? It's not linking. Sivakumar? No. Yes, guys. Now let's try one more. Yeah? Uh, let me erase this. Or I want to remember the name. Say, how to remember names? Gandhi. If I need to remember a name called Gandhi, the simplest way to remember is Great I'm sorry Great and and historic Indian Gandhi is great and historic Indian G A N D Great and historic Indian. Is it not? Simple. A and E. And this and. Okay. Of course, O can be, you know, for 1 to 10. If you want to remember O, please put 0. 0, you have to put it for O. So, my dear students, like this Humpty, a lot of memory techniques are there. Okay. Right, so we will use memory techniques to remember dates, numbers, people, different formulas, how to remember paragraphs, events, everything becomes very easy. You will become a much, much better learner because you will master, you are in the fourth stage of learning when you use this. Are you clear? Okay, apart from this, there are a lot of revision strategies which are real fun. Right? One example is A to Z revision. Okay. So A to Z revision is when, when you are revising, you have to quickly look at every alphabet and write down what you learned that starts from that alphabet. If I am revising photosynthesis, I will say as I am revising, I will put A. What did I learn that starts from A? B. What did I learn that starts from C? C means Calvin cycle. I will put Calvin cycle. Because it starts from C. Are you guys clear? These are lot of fun revision strategies are there like this. Okay? So my dear students, I am conducting a, 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 a crash course. Just two session course. This Friday and next Wednesday. The course comprises two sessions. <clears throat> there I am going to deal with all deeper memory techniques and lot of learning strategies. And you know what?
just a second. The price is 49 rupees. Yeah? No problem. The price is 49 rupees. I'm connecting it, these two sessions. Don't miss it. I want everyone to come and attend, guys. Make use of it. Yeah? Yeah, here, Etion. If you are available, just try attending. You know, you can even go ahead and take the recording later. Yeah? Okay. My dear students, I would really, really wish for everyone to attend it because I don't normally conduct courses at this price. People who attended my workshop, they know. Okay. Make use of it. What is this? Price of a what? A popcorn? I'm just kidding. Just go ahead and make use of it. Okay. This price is not. I just want serious learners to come. That is why we are just quoting some price, which is nothing. We really want to help all students. That is why we are not concerned about the money part in this. Cool? Right. My dear students, this is my number. My phone number is this. My number is... This is my phone number. It's my WhatsApp number. Okay. Please be in touch. Pass your feedback. Just let me know if you like this session. Also let me know if you guys are joining so that you know you guys can have an awesome time and learning and fun learning more importantly. Yeah. So I hope you guys have made a note of this link, right? This link is the one which you need to make a lot of to join this course. I'm looking forward to everyone, teaching everyone all these techniques, whoever in this webinar. And I'm not going to conduct further webinars on this until I complete this course. Okay? Yes, Vedavyas. Ping me Sudan Shu, whenever I am free, I'll, I'll respond to you. So there's not a specific time. Normally my days are very, very packed. It's okay. You guys are more important. All right, guys. So hope you guys really enjoyed the session. Did you guys like the session from today? Till whatever I have dealt with you, whatever guidelines I gave you, tips, tricks and techniques. Awesome. Awesome. All the best, Sivakumar. All the best. Be in touch. Excellent, guys. Look, see you in this course. Bye bye. Have a great time. Have a great evening. Bye bye. Bye Vedavyas, bye Retion.